going on boxing fans Joel Williams here at the distance got a video for you guys so tonight we got a bout we have a bout between Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez bout ended in a majority decision for Manny Pacquiao um, the scorecards were 114 114 116 112 and 115 113 um, the, there's a draw in both the other cards were for Manny Pacquiao so I don't know how judges scored the rounds and which rounds were um, scored for Marquez and which ones were scored for Pacquiao. But I actually had Marquez clear, clearly winning the fight um, because I thought that Marquez was landing the more telling blows in the fight. I think that the blows that Marquez were landing were more clean and clear and more significant than the shots that Pacquiao was landing. And Pacquiao was coming out and he was landing significant shots um, in spurts of the fight. But I think that, that, um, that pretty much Marquez controlled the fight using the counter, you know, using the counter right hand, and he straightened up his right hand, and and also, you know, he followed up his punches um, quite a bit, and, and actually um, brought the fight to Pacquiao, and used his aggression against him. He did a lot of um, circling to Pacquiao's right side, and stepping out of range, and stayed out of range, in order for Pacquiao to kind of lunge out, and so that he'd be open to the counter. And it was more difficult in this fight, because Pacquiao was not open to the counters that he was open to in the other fights. And either one of them were really, you know, coming forward and um, trying to trying to fight each other. It was more, it was more technical. It was more of a skilled fight. There was a lot of missed punches, but also the punches that did land, as I mentioned, by Marcus were more clean and more clear and more significant. And I believe had more of an, more of an effect on Pacquiao than the punches that Pacquiao landed on Marquez. And there would be those moments where they would get into exchanges, and I believe Pacquiao won some of those exchanges. But also there would be those moments in the fight to where you know Marquez would come in and he would land you know significant shots to the body. He'd go to the body and he come you know come right back outside and Pacquiao wouldn't answer the wouldn't answer back with anything else. Wouldn't answer the punches back. So pretty much to me I thought that Marquez did enough to win the fight. And HBO and their propaganda, as we all know, they always have propaganda. Um well, I'm getting a lot of comments now. Um, HBO on the propaganda, um, they had Pacquiao winning 8-4. And I don't know how you could score the fight for Pacquiao 8-4. I could see, I could see the other way around for Marquez. And, you know, they're talking about Nacho Beristain telling Marquez that, you know, he was winning the fight after the 10th round. And I do agree with Emmanuel Stewart that is, that is something that you never tell your fighter, especially when you're facing the Manny Pacquiao. And you look at the history and they had close fights. To some, to where many argue whether or not and debate whether or not Marquez won those fights. To me, when you look at the series, I believe that Marquez won more rounds than Pacquiao in the series, and he's shown in this fight that he knows how to fight Pacquiao, and he kind of, and he pretty much took the fight to him. So, pretty much the clean, clear shots were for Marquez. Marquez, I think, beat Pacquiao this time around. I think he beat him, and. And um, and then you can also look at the body language of Manny Pacquiao after the fight and towards the last round. Um, Pac, I don't even think Pacquiao knew he won the fight. Um, I thought that Pacquiao was thinking he lost just by just by his body language, him in the corner, um, following the fight, his body language in the last round. Every time they would you know break up, and then when he spit the mouthpiece out in that final round. But overall, you know Pacquiao tonight faced an opponent that had his number, knew how to fight him, and he fought back. And pretty much um, found another way to you know neutralize his neutralize his speed by standing out on the outside and having him lunge in with his shots, and neutralize his left hand by moving to his right, and you know countering him and having those moments, having little spurts and kind of ambushing him and hitting him to the body and hitting him with the straight right hand. So basically, in, in essence, most of us who predicted the fight were all wrong. I was wrong. Um, Marcus deserves a lot of credit for this fight. Um, a lot more credit in this fight. And I'm sure that the boxing fans are going to give him a lot of credit. And a lot of the boxing fans are going to believe that he won. But to me, I think it should either be a draw or 7-5 either one. But me, I had it clearly for Marquez. Um, and I can't really stress it more. So, you know, basically, you know, it seems as if Pacquiao was surprised he got the nod at the end of the fight. So, to be honest with you, only one fight right now that we want to see Pacquiao in. No Tim Bradley, no Andre Burdo, no Victor Ortiz, no Mike Jones. Nobody else. Get in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. May 5th, 2012.
They got the date ready. Floyd hasn't signed the contract. Pacquiao doesn't hasn't signed the contract. Don't fight Marcus again. Um, and if you do fight Marcus again, fight him sometime after May 5th. Fight Mayweather. Mayweather, fight Pacquiao. No time like no time like the present. Neither one of them have any fight signed. Olympic drug testing, no drug testing, whatever. Just fight. Um, Pacquiao fans and Mayweather fans are going to go at it. Whatever. We need to see this fight. Um, and we want to see this fight. So this is the last time I'm going to mention this fight um, ever. November 12, 2011. That's the last time I'm going to mention this fight. Um, overall, kind of sad that, that Marquez got the short end of the stick. I believe he won the fight. But like I said, 7-5 either one. But you got to give Marquez the benefit of the doubt. You have to admit, Marquez gave Pacquiao trouble. And Marquez was the one landing the cleaner shots. And the clearer shots. And even though it seems if he was outlanded due to the punch numbers, what punches by Pacquiao, other than the punches inside, were as significant as the punches that Marquez was throwing in numerous rounds. And But also there were moments they had exchanges and Pacquiao would win the exchange because he threw more punches and ended them. But it is what it is. Tell me what you think. Hit me up on here, Twitter, Julian W. The Great. Let me know what you think. I'm out of here. Peace.